Patrick, what's up, bro? What's up, guys? Bro, Ioni, welcome. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Ozzy and Pat. Is that Pat or is that Ozzy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pat. What's up? Uh, what do you remember about that night, 2009 game? Uh, I remember being on the bench and uh, jumping up. <laughs> right. It's like I'm flashing back to Freddie when you came to Seattle and you didn't speak any English. And I remember you couldn't communicate, but you pulled up YouTube and you started showing highlights of yourself and you're like banging English. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ozzie, Ozzie, I hated Ozzy because he beat us in the Open Cup semifinals in 2008. Um, you know, feel like a home because came from Cuba, no English, no, no like soccer culture and people looking like me like, ah, oh, this only play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard for me in the beginning, but, <laughs> you know, I try hard, I, I do my best and, you know, I try to, to be, you know, great with you guys and, you know, I really enjoy that moment. Man, he came from Cuba with nothing, and now he's got five Audis. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, my wife has the money. I have nothing. <laughs> good, Ozzy. Good, smart, and smart guy. Ozzy, I got an over forty team that would love to have you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> they pay cash. They pay cash. No taxes. Cash money. <laughs> cash money. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a big memory. When when Ziggy, the pregame talk for Ziggy for the Open Cup, he's just coming to the board and put that big dollar sign for everyone. <laughs> that was our pregame talk. Yeah. Like, perfect. <laughs> when, we, when we went to Argentina for preseason and we see the schedule, we're going to play with River Play against... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my fuck. goodness. We show up to the fields and... We were playing against kids. <laughs> <laughs> Play with Casey Keller, one of the, the superstars in the United States. And he yelling at me every single time. was a was a great feeling for me as well. <laughs> and and, and uh, the funny thing is, he's, he's speaking Spanish, right? I don't speak in English at the moment. <clears throat> and he is always trying to communicate with me in Spanish. Even with it's Taylor Grant. <laughs> even with Taylor Grant. He was the first guy to see me. I was oh, uh, yeah. a little oh, Spanish. I, I, I talked. Yeah, exactly. It was my translation for at least one year. That's maybe the first thing I noticed coming from college was how good everyone was. I remember <laughs> like how hard I had to shoot to try and score on Casey, for example. Like, it was just was impossible. <laughs> I had to really shoot really hard to try and score on Casey. And then, you know, Taylor Graham and Tyson Ward and all these guys always yelling at me to track back, track back, track back. Like, <laughs> I remember that a lot. Uh, you never did. You never <laughs> did. <laughs> Nothing but, came. Steven, do you have any uh, Freddie Lundberg stories from the hotel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to share right now. Um, <laughs> For the fans, even. I, I just remember this one time we were away. We were playing the Red Bulls. Uh, so we were staying in Hoboken. And uh, it's like one in the morning. And he gave Randy a call, our trainer and asked him to come into the room to give him a massage. So I'm trying to sleep, and then, and then all of a sudden, I wake up to Randy with a massage table in between our two hotel beds. One in the morning, i to sleep. What, man, like, couldn't you have, like, scheduled this earlier in the evening or something? But, yeah, it was a good time rooming with Freddie. You just never knew what was going to happen. Uh, <laughs> Hey, did he walk around a lot in his Speedos? <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs>